long time no video hey it's me it's me i'm back with a drastic hair change another one yet again happy 2022 i haven't vlogged in a long time things are going on in my life i thought i'd update you all it just felt weird to put old vlogs up and old videos up pretending like things haven't changed for me my university started transitioning back to in-person learning we had our first semi-formal in a long time which was crazy i also was in charge of running our engineering awards night all of my friends are graduating soon they got their iron rings and everything and i won't be seeing them next year which is actually really weird i'm also planning the engineering orientation week or frosh week as you call it first one fully in person in about two years which is really crazy everything's really crazy so this is kind of funny I started crying. I started talking about my feelings and then so I started crying and I'm not ready to share what I said because I'm not ready to be that vulnerable with you all so I won't share it but when I start talking again I look like I have been crying. It's because I was. Anyways, moving on. This is so silly. I literally started filming this just so I could be like, hey, here are my life updates. By the way, I'm still gonna post old videos. I just hope you know that I'm gonna edit old vlogs and post old vlogs even though that's not what my life looks like anymore. That's all I wanted to do when I filmed this and I'm crying. Ew. It's so fun. Things are new. I got some new piercings. I got a Rook piercing and I have an anti-tragus. That is not healing very well, but I'm not giving up on her. I also got thirds. I got four piercings and a haircut within the span of two days. And one of my friends was like, are you doing all right? <laughs> Clearly I'm not. But I look so slack. <laughs> Sorry, babes. You're gonna be tilted. I just wanted to update you guys and I wanted to make this video first before I started throwing it back to all the outdated stuff. Just so you know, things are no longer the same. But yeah, welcome to my, my life. Welcome back to my life. Alexa, mm. office hours. New health is set up complete. Happy Monday, everyone. I work remote on Mondays, but I like to do it from school because I have classes and I like using my student society's office because no one's here and it's nice and quiet. So I do all my remote work, usually in the office. Isn't she pretty? I'll do a tour later, but right now I actually have to get to work. So, bye. I want to show you my outfit if I can stop moving um so we have denim jacket from American Eagle it's cropped oversized bodysuit from Zara skirt from American Eagle and then my vans yeah this is the vibe should we show you anything fun we have a bunch of candy we ran an event we didn't eat it all and so it's here we also needed sunglasses stickers for every engineering discipline this one's my discipline hey -o. lovely little couches with our slogan on the pillow tv that usually shows the events since it's summer there aren't really any events count on frosh horrifying it's so soon we have a little fridge very important rule and then there she is just with little juice boxes here's a beautiful window to see into the outside world isn't she lovely? Um, and then there's just desks for usually the office members that would be here on a regular school day, but not the summer. Oh, you can't even see me. Yay. Cute little hardwood floors. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to work. <laughs> Hey, so I bought the silliest thing. I have a white cowboy hard hat. Those are just for the people that plan orientation week, frosh week for the engineering students. It's just like our thing. It's our way of identifying the planning team. I love personalizing things. I love decorating things. I was trying to find the best way to decorate my hard hat in a way that was true to me, in a way that was fun 
and cool. My friends and I have this ongoing joke where we just love horses. We're horse girls. Me specifically, honestly. I think it's just me that is a horse girl. I thought I'd play into that. I don't remember where this idea came from, but we were just giggling. And eventually we're like, what if we put little horses on the hard hat? But also make it look kind of realistic, so like like a diorama sort of thing. So we, I bought, I bought fake grass, and um, I have all the horses. They just came in. I got a tub of 60 horses off of Amazon. Yeah, I was gonna give one horse per friend, and they'll all be on my hard hat. So yeah, I'm gonna have my horse girl hard hat. The horsification of Alexa. The horse girlification of Alexa is happening, kind of. I really don't like horses that much, but every time I see one now, I just have to go, horse. I will run wild with any fake piece of information about me. Someone will say anything about me and I'll be like, yeah, that's correct. Even if it isn't, just because I know that my friends, people that actually know me will know that it's not true. But I think it's funny when people just know a bunch of fake information about me. It's kind of bad because in second year I let it run wild like the running joke was that I have a foot fetish I don't have a foot fetish it was something that I would play into a lot and now we're in the horse girl era a lot of my friends now they're like thank god you're not in your foot fetish era anymore but I don't know if the horse girl era is any better <laughs> hey my room is a mess and we're not gonna talk about it again pretend that you don't see all this but I got a Aritzia package Thursday morning I got the notification for the Aritzia sale and I was like I've been trying to avoid the Aritzia sale I was trying to save some money but I caved finally and I was just going through the like 50 to 70 percent off section looking at cute stuff I don't think everything that I got was 50 to 70 percent off but I got a couple of goodies I got five things and I was like you know what I'm going through things and I deserve to treat myself so I did isn't she pretty? Ooh, things are happening. Okay, first thing I got, I love their sculpt knits. So I got the deep V one in an orange. Orange isn't like my favorite color in general, but I do love wearing orange. I think it looks really nice on my skin tone. I'm going to a party this Saturday. I think this might be the shirt I go for, unless it looks bad on me. If I go to Ritzia, I'm basically only ever buying like blouses or dresses. This one seemed pretty cute. I love a floral print. This was like final sale because of how low markdown it was. And let's hope. It looks nice on me. And then I really wanted the Tempest blouse. I wanted this blouse for so long and it was barely on sale. It was like $10 off, which is like typical Aritzia sale. But I've been eyeing it for about a year now. So I was like, you know what, might as well. I love a balloon blouse type of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And I got a sweater vest. I was like, why should I really buy a $30 sweater vest? But I kept looking at it and I was like, it's kind of fun and kind of cute. I just really like the colors used. I don't know, I caved. I think this was the most unnecessary purchase, but it was also one of the biggest sale items. I saved the most money on it as well. So it's like value tensions are going on right now. And I got a pair of jeans. I thought I'd try out their jeans. Did I need another pair of jeans? No, absolutely not. But I got really intrigued. I'm a jeans girl. I'm a denim girl through and through. After my second year of university, I worked in a denim store and it changed the trajectory of my life forever. I love denim. Did I need another pair of denim jeans? No, but I did it. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, frivolous spending is my favorite habit. I'm gonna go try everything on in private. And I'm gonna clean my room. And then I'm gonna study because I have an exam on Wednesday. I'm kind of behind on my schedule. Yeah. <laughs>